We're heading out of Capitol Reef National Park in Torrey, Utah, and we're heading over to Moab. Uh, we've got about 160.2 miles to go, and that's about a two hour and 59 minute drive. We're driving the Utah 24, which is the Capitol Reef Country Scenic Byway. Absolutely gorgeous drive. The roads are in really good condition. Not much traffic at all. Uh, these are really enjoyable drives, these scenic byways. We highly recommend them. It's May 19th, 2022. Um, we really like it up here this time of year. I was concerned that at the beginning that it would probably be too cold, but the weather is absolutely perfect. And you know, it's not crowded at all this time of year. The parks were really nice to wander through. Uh, the crowds were really minimal. Um, really a good time of year to come up here uh, mid-May. leaving Capitol Reef National Park and heading northeast, you'll be amazed at what you see. You'll literally pass through the towering red wall of Water Pocket Fold, which is the backbone of Capitol Reef, which will surely make an already impressive visit unforgettable. After a few miles, especially once you get to Caneville and beyond, the landscape around Utah 24 transform and suddenly becomes an arid, inhospitable alien territory with a variety of colors, including gray, pale yellow, purple, and above all blue. And already at Caneville, you'll find yourself driving through an endless desert expanse of multicolored rock, which is known as slip rock. You'll be surrounded by rare mesas and bizarre shapes called Upper Blue Hills and framed to the south by the Henry Mountains and San Rafael swell to the north. Some of the stops that you might want to take advantage of on Utah 24 would be the Water Pocket Fold to Caneville, the Factory Butte Recreation Area, the Moonscape Overlook, the Mars Desert Research Station, Hanksville, and last but not least would be Goblin Valley. This is where the landscape really starts to change outside of Canesville. You have more of that arid desert type of feel. The beauty is still unmatched. A lot of this rock is known as slick rock. Here we're surrounded by multicolored mesas. The small amount of video that I've shown you for Utah 24 is really just a teaser. There's so much to see, so many places to stop. It's an adventure in itself. Take the time and check it out. Ready to end. 
through Moab. We're about eight miles from Archer's National Park. We couldn't get into the uh, National Park campground, which we would have loved to. It was called Devil's Garden, which is absolutely gorgeous. But So we're in a regular RV park for the next three nights. Uh, and we're about uh, eight or nine miles from the National Park and about 35 miles from Canyonlands National Park. So we'll be doing all that stuff in the next couple of days. Comes the town of Moab. Oh, wow. Oh, there's a lot of water in here, Ron. That's the Colorado River. Wow. That flows to Lake Mead. Nice. Oh, look at that big bridge over there. We just arrived in Moab and now it's time to get checked into our RV spot that we're going to be in for the next three days. You've been road trekking with Rowan Lowe. I hope you enjoyed this short adventure and if you did please do subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.